And that's Simon from SimonWoods.com. I've got three um, Fortify wines in front of me, two ports, one at Madeira. Um, let's just dig in. Two from Grahams and two ports. Uh, the first one is Six Grapes Reserve Port. Uh, and it's called Six Grapes. Apparently, uh, Graham's graded, used to grade their cask support uh, with the uh, numbers of grapes that they did, they mark them on the barrels from one to six. Uh, I don't know whether this is strictly the uh, six out of six, but um, it's a nice story. Anyway, let's give this a whirl and see uh, whether it lives up to its six grape billing. And it's that gentle, soft, plummy, uh, round, slightly juicy, um, and uh, a very, very appealing and alluring smell. It doesn't smell like it's going to be incredibly complex. Uh, I can't say I'm, I, I notice uh, much of the, uh, sometimes I get really uh, strong fragrances coming through in, in really good ports. Uh, this, is, this seems to be all about almost juicy fruit and uh, nothing wrong with that. And that's just a nice, nice, honest, juicy port. Uh, not a hugely complex, but satisfying. A little bit of fire in its belly. Um, it's, on the, it's got the, the young, feisty fruitiness, uh, but enough, um, enough round mellowness to uh, uh, stop it just being too aggressive and uh, burning your throat out. Um, it, yes, it's got the berries and the plums fitting, flitting in and out, damsons in there. As I said, maybe I prefer a little bit more fragrance and uh, extra layers, but I don't think that's what this is all about. I think it's just that this is about uh, put there and uh, shove it in a, in, in a bottle and give somebody an, an almost glass of juicy fruitiness. Um, I'd suck that with some blue cheese and uh, I think I'd rather enjoy that. Heart parmesan as well. Maybe even a little bit of dark chocolate, but uh, might finish my glass. We like it. Um, next one, uh, and Graham's again. Uh, this is their 2009 LBV. This smells a little bit more deeper, uh, a little bit more profound. And uh, whereas the, uh, the first one had that, uh, yeah, bouncy, tiger-like fruit, here there's a little bit more gravitas about it. Um, and uh, there's the, uh, some of the earthiness that was absent in the first one, that, that real sense of place, and some of that slight spice, herby fragrance that you get from the, uh, uh, those rugged Douro vineyards. Yeah, good. I mean, it's, it, it's a step up and uh, a little bit more, uh, slightly uh, stark, is, is, is that the stark the right word? Um, I notice a little bit more angularity about it. It feels, uh, it's probably, um, uh, less sweet, and uh, so maybe some of the gork and some of those herby characters and uh, poke out. Uh, tannin wise, yes, there's, there's, uh, I don't know, it doesn't feel like there's anything there that needs to uh, sort itself out. Um, and I can imagine occasions on which I prefer one and imagine occasions on which I prefer the other. The first one is probably the, cr the crowd please, and the second one, yeah, a little bit more cerebral, but um, I like them both. Probably just about prefer the LBV. Hmm, yeah. Final one, uh, Blandi's Alvada, five-year-old, a rich Madeira, um, and deliciously sedu seductive aged in oak casks, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's just put it in the glass and uh, have a sniff. Oh, raisins, Christmas cake, uh, walnuts, uh, mahogany furniture. Uh, it's, it, it smells really good and uh, it smells like there's going to be a juicy, hearty Christmas cake appeal to it. Yeah, rich, juicy, figgy, raisiny, but with the classic freshness that uh, you always get in Madeira. Um, the, the base wines here always have lots and lots of acidity. It's weird because it's, it's closer to the equator than, uh, uh, than most wine regions, but um, it's a, it's a rather rugged aisle, so uh, uh, they, uh, yeah, they, they, you always get freshness there. And even at this uh, this sweeter end of the uh, of the spectrum, and um, I like it. I there are I, I mean the, the great Madeiras are the ones that uh, have, have had uh, several years aging, but uh, this young feisty one uh, is uh, feisty and tasty, um, and uh, probably my favourite of these three. Uh, but they've all got something to say for themselves, so uh, maybe I'll have a little nibble of each of them at some point over the Christmas period. See you soon.